What is the Fed blackout period? Oh, good question. The Fed blackout period. We're in it right now. Yep. Uh, it seems to start on a Saturday <laughs> for some reason. Uh, and it, it revolves around the Fed meetings. So the next Fed meeting is Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, they'll come out and, um, you know, do a question and answer session on Wednesday. They'll tell us, you know, how much they're going to raise rates and kind of what they see and all those type of things. And so prior to that, they're not allowed to talk at all. Uh, and <laughs> that's probably why, uh, what was it, a couple weeks ago or the week before this one, yeah. um, you know, we had a down week altogether. The Federal Reserve was out like mad. I mean, uh, they did like seven different interviews, all negative. Uh, the market was down for the week. Uh, and they're really trying hard to use their words to bring it down. Um, so, th And one of the reasons I think that we're having a better week this week is we don't have the Fed. They're in a blackout period. So that's what that's what it means. So there's, I don't know how many days it is in total. Uh, it's like 12. It's, so it's 12. not like two weeks. It's yeah. it's kind of weird because they, yeah. they like to close they like to start it on a Saturday, so after like the markets close. Okay, got it. And then they go. It even goes one day past. Uh, you know, I believe past the actual meeting, so it might go to February second. Yeah, it's February second. one. After and that. then all of a sudden, I guarantee on February third, we're going to have interviews with Fed governors, and they're all going to be saying the same things because they're that that the weird part that we're dealing with right now is just this situation where the Fed would really like the stock market to not do what it's doing right now mm -hmm. in the way it's running this week. Uh, so, you know, I've said this before, uh, they can't actually keep the stock market down with just their words. We call it job owning. Uh, it can be very effective, especially up front. We had a pretty big drop off last summer after the Jackson Hole uh, conversation from Chairman Powell. Eight minute, you know, speech, no questions, hammered the market, dropped 3% that day, and really started the whole downturn from that run up we had last summer. So. Uh, it can have big impacts, but you look at what a week ago, uh, lots of interviews, lots of negative things. Oh, we might go to five and a half percent, even the market's thinking 4.9 and all these things. And we still ended up with a good week this week because I think I think it's starting to wear off it, with its effect because uh, the data, the bond market's not responding to their to their. Yeah, rhetoric. it's like the boy that cries wolf. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, exactly.